when the presenters are presenting, they will unmute themselves internet. and start their videos. Issues. Um, that's just for the it bandwidth, is, yeah. bandwidth mm -hmm. for the internet connection and everything. Um, I'll just introduce Noel now. Uh, he's your next um, speaker. He's a writer and director. Noel Anderson is his full name. Completed NIDA's Playwright Studios in the 90s. Since then, he's written several plays and directed over 50 theatre productions. Noel's written work includes Billy Loves Cha-Cha Forever, Andy Warhol's 15 Minutes of Fame, Dark Victory, and the original musical Audrey Hepburn and I Consider Our Assets. Today he's talking about the perils of writing a new musical for the stage. And that's all for me. Bye for now. Thank you. Noel? Thank you, Matt. Um, first of all, let me say, Welcome everyone to the Breakout Writers' Festival. Tonight, I'm talking about writing a musical, or rather, not writing one at all. In May 2008, I directed a rehearsed reading of a one-act play called Audrey Hepburn and I Consider Our Assets. It was about a young girl from Melbourne who was at odds with herself and her family and has constant voices of self-doubt inside her head after an unexpected and somewhat difficult relationship breakup. What I didn't know at the time was this one act play would become a fully realized stage musical and one of the longest relationships I've ever had. From the play's first reading to the first musical production in October 2015, and then writing and filming a promotional music video took a staggering 10 years of my life. I remember thinking at the time, golly, you get less for murder and you do these days. So you're sitting at home, you're looking at me and you're thinking, maybe I should write an original Australian musical. No, don't do it. I beg you, don't do it. It's like going to boot camp for a decade. No matter how good a writer you think you are, no matter how good a composer you are, nobody will want to hear about your musical. They'd rather talk about Cats, Hamilton, Les Mis. They'd rather see anything except an Australian musical set in Australia. So I say to you, before you put pen to paper, Never write an original Australian musical. Now, I know that sounds kind of harsh, right? Your creative heart is probably bursting with the sound of music, like mine was once. And you simply must get your musical truth out there in words and song, out to the world. Well, you know what? I'm not here to play villain. I'm not here to rain on your parade. So. Here are a few tips that might save you a little bit of time and more importantly, a lot of bloody money. So let's snuggle up close, hey? Before you put pen to paper, I want you to sit at your computer and ask yourself, before you get too carried away with the idea of creating an original Australian musical, do I have a decade in me to write this musical? Audrey Hepburn and I took 10 years, three writers, including me, and a composer. Do you know, if someone had told me at Chapel of Chapel when I first started, I was going to, you know, give 10 years of my life to writing a musical, I may not have wanted to do it. I may have backed out, but I did. So I ask you, do you have a decade? Because you don't want to get five years in and suddenly think, I don't want to finish this. So if you do have a decade, next, I would ask yourself, what's my hook? How am I going to market this musical? Without a clear vision and a strong hook, you will flounder at the end. So, you know, my hook um, at the start was Audrey Hepburn. Um, it wasn't in, um, Audrey Hepburn wasn't written in the original story I directed at Chapel of Chapel. Um, at the time, I said to one of the actresses who was one, playing one of the voices, why don't you be Audrey Hepburn? And it kind of stayed. When, when I came on board, I knew immediately Audrey Hepburn was my hook. And that's what I wrote towards. 
And that's what I felt I could sell. So know your hook and write towards it. That's the key. Finally, let's talk about collaboration. Uh, collaboration is a tricky beast. But chances are, if you're writing a musical book with a score, you're going to have to collaborate with somebody, possibly a composer or maybe another writer. My suggestion then is do interviews. Interview for a collaborator. See what else they can do. Do they write scripts and write music? Perhaps you both could share the workload. Maybe they do web design as well, or perhaps they have a degree in business and marketing. If they do, then this person sounds perfect to me. I'd collaborate with this person. And believe me, they'll be invaluable at the end of the creative pro um, process. The more you and your collaborator can do, the better at the end when you try and get it on stage, when you try and get your musical on stage. This will save you hours of work and money when it comes to taking your musical masterpiece to the world. But remember what I said at the beginning, never write a musical. Or if you want, you can just ignore me and write the musical anyway. However, if you decide to do that, educate yourself. The number of writers that have shown me projects, writing plays or writing musicals, and then I say, when was the last time you've been to the theatre? five years ago. Don't be one of those writers. Go to musicals. Read musicals on the page. Study the ways in which they combine music, song, dialogue to create an effective live show for the audience. Phantom of the Opera, what you hate Phantom? Great. Best thing for you to see because it's successful. My Fair Lady, Shout, Hamilton, even Audrey Hepburn and I consider our assets and then write your musical. You know what? I think it's time for a musical interlude. Um, while you think, should you write your musical or should you not write your musical? This is Travellers in Time. The themes of self-belief, inner strength and mental health is what you need to write a good musical. It's from Audrey Hepburn and I Consider Our Assets, and I'm just going to very quickly take us there. Travelers in time, you and I We see magic and never ask why While we're playing our part We keep hope in our heart That tomorrow we'll learn how to fly There are millions of paths we can take And a million decisions to make That our dreams disappear when we wake Life turns and twists like a river Sometimes the clouds turn to grey If you can say a stormy weather Then you'll never lose your way So remember, look up and aim high There are millions of stars in the sky And there's one just for you If you'll only stay true There are moments in time When I find one that's mine You'll have millions of chances to show
life turns and twists like a river Sometimes the clouds turn to grey If you can sail stormy weather Then you'll never lose your way So remember, look up and aim high There are millions of stars in the sky And there's one just for you If you'll only stay true There are moments in time When I find one that's mine You'll have millions of chances to shine Magic. Um, sorry about all those technical problems. Um, last night it worked perfectly, but as usual, tonight, not so. Okay, um, so we've had all these technical problems, and believe it or not, 10 years have passed by. And in that time, as if by magic, you've done the impossible, um, you've improved all your technical skills and produced a new Australian musical with original score. You're a bloody wreck, of course. There's been a million knockbacks, 10 years of hearing the word no one repeat, but the show's written and it's on stage. You're at the after party. You're having a skinny bitch or two and a young writer comes over and says to you, I saw your musical tonight. I love the themes of family and mental health. So important to today. What advice would you give to a struggling musical theatre writer? Well, it's simple, isn't it? Never write an Australian musical. Immediately springs to my mind. But, you know, you don't say that. Instead, you think back to all the Australian musicals you've studied and you've seen over the years, shows performed in pubs, independent theatres and large venues around Australia, shows like Pearls Before Swine, Only Heaven Knows, Sentimental Bloke, The Sapphires, and, of course, Audrey Hepburn and I, consider our assets, and you say, kiss, keep it simple, stupid, and keep travelling on. Maybe this time you'll get lucky. Maybe. Maybe. Keep writing. It's all about hard work, belief in yourself, luck and timing. Who knows? Success might just be a semi-quaver and a little bit of technical help away. My name is Noel Anderson. I've been urging you never write an Australian musical. <laughs>